So when you start getting over it, you'll find yourself in this little area here after climbing the tree. And this is, this is, um, the whole category is generally, uh, referred to, as, this whole area is generally referred to as the Devil's Chimney. But the name really comes from the challenge, the first real trial of the game at the end. That's what I'll be referring to it as in this video. But it's certainly the most simple part of the game. It's the it's really the only part of the game where it's literally just you swinging your hammer around and climbing uh, up until the end where there's an actual challenge. The rest of the game is not going to be like this for the most part. But what it's really going to do is there's a few major steps to it. You're, you're going to want to learn how to do this thing called the pogo. It's I, mean, I don't really need to say that it's called the pogo. It's so it, it's really simple. It's the, just imagine a pogo stick that you used when you were little. You just bring your hammer around here. So just so that's facing down, just push up quickly. Um, yeah. So you want what you want to do is pogo, and then reach your hammer around to grab onto this. Just gonna want to pogo and reach. That's all you gotta do. Then just swing yourself around pull yourself into the hammer and if you don't know how to do that just like move your mouse up whatever just pull yourself in until you're touching the ground hey there you go and from there just uh... just get, you want to swing around the ore but if you notice here i didn't quite make it around the ore so what we want to do in that case is stand back here and i can't get past the ore if i do this i'll just fall like that so what you want to do in that case is uh... Push yourself over here, just like a small amount of pressure, lean yourself over until you can reach around the ore. Be careful of slipping. So, the thing is, you don't want to grab all the way over, all the way over to the side, like uh, like right here. And you don't want to just let go right here, because then you'll go flying when you pull over. Um, you want to put your hammer probably right in the middle, like when you're reaching over put it in the middle, stop right there, and just pull in. And then what a lot of people will try to do is, uh, from there, to pull yourself over, they'll just pull straight up, right? Pull straight up until it works. This is never going to work. So what you're do, going to do is what I just did, is instead of pulling straight up, you just slowly swing yourself around, plop yourself down. It's really simple. Or slowly swing yourself around, plop down. To get over this obstacle, you're just going to want to pogo and move your hammer over to grab the top of it. That's all you got to do. Swing yourself around, land here. Swing your hammer around a bit, land here. From here, it's really all of those chimneys like this. I'm just going to say you're just going to want to, in some places you swing around, in some places you pogo. That's all it's going to be up until the end. From here, you just swing yourself around. Yeah, and swing. And if by chance you couldn't get your hammer over this little thing right here, like say you're sitting right here and you can't reach it, you just fall if you try to do that. Uh, just pogo. It's really that simple. Um, the pipe, you can't really reach it. So some people get stumped by this. You really just have to pogo. Maybe you'll land here, maybe you won't. If you don't land here, all you gotta do is pogo and grab on while you're pogoing. You don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing it, of course. Uh, from here, from here, just pogo and swing and grab. Just, just pogo yourself and swing around and grab it. Swing around. Plop yourself down this barrel. So, oh no. <laughs> so, once you, when you're swinging around here, you might just go like this and bring yourself here. That's going to make it a lot harder because if you try to pogo up, you'll go to the side. Uh, if you find yourself in this area, you see it's a lot harder. You're going to want to just put your hammer almost in a pogo, but just touch this barrel. Push yourself out a little bit and just swing yourself around to this little good guy over here. This good guy Greg. Anyway, from here, pogo and reach around. And the cup 
might get in your way. It's really just how, it's really just where you grab. If you grab on top of the cup, you're going to slip. It's not going to be a major fall. You're just going to have to pogo again to get back up there. And that's all That's all there really is to it. So once you grab here, swing yourself around, and you're here. This is obvious. You can just reach it. Place yourself there. And if you even want to, you can place yourself here. From here, it's the only real way to do is pogoing. This platform, you can do it. I'm going to show you how to do it, but it's really hard. You just got to... Oh, fuck. Yeah. You just got to um, get yourself close to the edge and just swing around really quick. That's not easy to do, though. So what you want to do here is uh, place yourself on this rock. Uh, close to the left side, but don't not, don't really be on the corner. You want to be like looking up, not just slanted. And just pogo. And instantly reach around and grab. See, if you do it wrong, then you could fall. And by do it wrong, I mean you want to make sure it's a powerful pogo. So, kind of misconception. A powerful pogo doesn't necessarily mean you just pick up your mouse and just slam it. No, I saw what that means. A powerful pogo just means you're putting. Pe it just means you're like you're going through all the way. It's a full. It's a full movement. You just put put your mouse on top of your mouse mat and just swiftly move it down to the bottom. That's all there is to it. So anyway, after you find yourself on this rock, mm, let me go a little more to the right. Just pogo and try to grab on. There's a good chance you'll fall onto this le this leftern corner, as you saw me do it before, and that'll cause you to fall. Maybe I just do it one more t one more time. Yeah. And there's another way to do it. This is called. And since this is a comprehensive guide, I'm showing you a lot of different ways you can do everything. Like I said, those chimneys like a million, million different ways to do it. So this would have to be an hour-long video if I showed you every way to do it. I'm not going to do that. This is going to be like, I don't know, seven minutes. So what you're going to do is just place your hammer on this rock with your guy sitting there. And then you do the same motion as a pogo. You pull down. You pull down. And you reach around onto the rock. It's a little harder. If any of that works for you, that works. If you're sitting on this rock, you can uh, just like uh, put your hammer straight up here, pull it in a bunch, and just move it out to the right a bit, and do the same pogo motion, and put and put yourself onto the rock up top. Those are called pull pogos. They're pretty handy. Anyway, when you're here, swing yourself around up. Easy way to do it. Up so that you're touching this rock, and then just sort of pull yourself in. In, pull yourself in and pull yourself up at the same time to plop yourself down. Another way to do it is uh, is just this. You don't really need to uh, touch the top of this rock up above. Fuck, dude. All you need to do is just pull in. Anyway, um, once you're here, uh, you find yourself too far to the right. You can't grab onto this. You're just going to want to push yourself very gently so that you do not throw yourself back down to the bottom. I did not tell you to throw yourself to the bottom. Just push yourself a little bit closer to the left. And then just reach over, swing around, and plop yourself. From here, pogo. Just reach your hammer around, swing yourself around, and plop yourself. From here, yeah, put your hammer straight out. Pull it in a bit, grab here and swing around. This one you want to be careful because it's a small platform. So here's where things get really tricky. If you go over here, you'll fall back to the start. Um, This is the real challenge. Uh, this is the lamps, the actual uh, chimney. From here, what I've always been doing is I pogo out to the side because I'm at an angle when I'm sitting there and immediately reach my hammer over. I noticed that I didn't move, but in case I did move, my hammer was right here. And if I started to slide, it would get caught in this notch. See, the good thing about this notch is that um, your hammer gets stuck there. Like, it's a notch. Nothing's going to make it move. And that helps because this red part, as you might have found out already, 
is super slippery. It's very hard to grab. So I'm going to do, do that again. You use pogo and reach over. So if you start falling, you grab the notch. Now once you're on the notch, you just swing yourself around. And now you're here. So you can look up a lot of different ways to do this online. I don't. <laughs> uh, some vi I've, what I personally think is definitely the easiest way to do it. Like I, I've tried a lot of different strategies. This is what I think is the easiest way: is you put your hammer straight up, pull it in, move it out to the right. So you reach, you grab this, swing yourself around a bit, and plop yourself down. From here, what you're gonna want to do is just smack this side until you find yourself on a lamp. Now I'm going to demonstrate outside of the actual chimney so you guys can see it. Oh, not here. When I say smack the side, I don't mean when I tell it to people, they just like, as fast as I can, they move around and their hammer just looks like this. And they're just going as, they're just, they're just trying as hard as they can to move it as fast as possible. Just like really swift horizontal movements. Obviously, that's not going to help you on the chimney. Um, we do want to do, however, is just go back and forth, 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 back and forth. It's more about the power, not the speed of what you're doing. So if you go back onto this rock here, no, come on. On. All right. So if you go back onto this rock here, and you start doing it, back, forth, back, forth, back. Once you go, on, once you get onto this lamp, that's going to be like your saving grace. It's probably taking you a few tries by this point to do it right. Once you're grabbing onto this lamp, that's your sa that that's the good stuff. Like, that's what you want to see. Um, once you're on it, you just want to pull straight up and try to grab the second lamp. You just want to pull up. Oh, I slipped. Pull up. Grab the second lamp. Second lamp, you really don't want to be you really want to be careful once you grab onto it cuz it's important to grab it. <sighs> um, what we want to do is just bring yourself around and don't trust yourself to stay in this position cuz you're not going to. You're going to fall back if I move my hammer around. Diage the character in the pot it's gonna fall around. So what you're gonna do is reach. Can I reach? Yes. Just reach around a little bit and see. As I started to fall, very quickly, put your hammer on this little ledge and start to pull yourself in. And as you loop around, the reason why I said pull yourself in as you loop around is you don't have that much time to loop around because it's a little slippery. And just for reference, if you do grab on this side and you pull yourself around, you're going to go flying all the way back to the start. This tree does not break your fall. Bennett thought he is mean. Anyway, uh, another way to do it is once you're here, you can just uh, put your hammer down and pogo onto this. That could work. And a different way of doing the chimney that I've seen before is you get yourself close to this rock, not on it, close to it. Pogo, oh no. Okay, so not that close to the rock. I, I'm not. I don't use this strategy because it's it's harder. It's less. Of, I don't like it as much. You pogo. God damn it. Pogo. And just reach up and grab the rock without hitting any of the walls. And from there, of course, you pull up to this. Pull up to that. And pogo. Um. Yeah. Sorry. A better way of doing it is when you go up to here. Oh god. Is when you go up to here you just swing yourself around, like I said, and reach over. That's what I think the best way to do it is. But like I said, this strategy where you go like this, definitely the easiest from what I've gathered. Um this is the end of it. This be incredibly careful here because the slightest wrong movement you're gonna have to restart, basically. Uh you're just sitting here, just pogo over, reach and grab around. 
Might take two reaches. If you don't get it all the way, I'll just do that again. Or say if you're not sitting on that tip there, you're sitting on this slanty side. And I get myself on it. Alright, yeah. Just pogo, reach, and grab. And you'll notice that this part is a lot, is pretty slippery. So you're gonna, you're gonna try, it's, it's not gonna be the easiest, but just try to not grab onto that. But if you do, be prepared to swing yourself around a second time really fast to grab it. And as you notice there, I was not careful. And now I'm back here. So, this guide isn't going to be as comprehend isn't as comprehensive as all my other comprehensive guides because all my other comprehensive guides are actually well they wouldn't work for what we're doing here they just simply wouldn't work because there's so many millions of different fucking ways to do this I'm just gonna show you one really fast way to do it you might I mean I'm just gonna put it out there because it's this is supposed to be a comprehensive guide right so I'm being as comprehensive as I can but there's it's it's basically just climbing just whatever you feel will do best will help you the bo will help you the most that's what's gonna help you the most but the main the main bullets to take away from it are just the pogo reaching around actually being able once you reach around to swing and pull yourself in once you know that you're golden so yeah, I'll just help you and uh have a great time climbing fellas.